I haven't played this in a while, so I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Mystery Shrine. Okay, I guess I can make that back to being an active quest. Oh, yeah, Big Crusher told me how to summon my mount and I forget it's not whole little one let's see that's blocking that's hitting it's not whole triangle I really forgot how you told me to do it We can't. They kicked us out, remember? No. When? Ha, of course you don't remember. You're in your sixth flagon of plum brandy. Six? That seems low. Fake. This was after three drams of white eye and a flagon of moon sugar double. You're lucky to be alive. Calm now. Oh, I forgot. Have they mix clues with moon sugar. Here. Yes, and in most Khajiji ports. Now, let's think of a way out of this mess, shall we? I sell to the nobility! I can't remember how to put my weapons up. I can't remember how to go in the first person either. The Marma attacked Cat's Eye Key with their Sea Viper forces. We need every but able body what? for the rescue effort. Huh. A counterattack. I'd settle for an organized defense. Our forces are scattered too thin. If we can't hold the gates, Mistral will fall to the Marma. I'll coordinate Dominion forces from here, but I can't lock down this gate until the survivors clear out of the market. Send them my way. We need everyone able to defend Mistral on this side of the wall. Snakes! Giant snakes coming from this. Those Malma pirates came from the water. They're all over Cat's Eye Key. Sea vipers happened. One must have struck me on the head. When I woke, a sea viper was carving strange runes on my bodyguard's skin. I hit that awful pirate with a broken spar and we ran. No, we can still move. We'll head to Mistral if it's safe there. By the eight, it's inspiring to see Dominion soldiers. Maybe Sergeant Firion can pull off her counterattack. The Marine by the gate to Cat's Eye Key plans to strike back at the sea vipers. I'm sure she can tell you the details. We'll get... Them. Can't let those Marama pirates reach Mistral. They'll butcher our families. 
I saw great serpents emerge from the waters. Those sea viper cowards made them snap at everyone in striking distance. No. When I saw my neighbors fall, I ran. <laughs> what kind of Khajiit am I? You were with Dominion, yes? Your Sergeant Tyrion plans to strike back. Give those pirate cowards a taunting. I'll do no such thing. If any of those sea vipers shows a face on this side of the gate, mm -hmm. I'll throw it off myself. Oh, sure you will. What are you doing here? That doesn't matter. If you're in the mood to cave in some sea viper skulls, I don't really care. You feel that cold air rushing off the sea? Just like it was before the hurricane. We can't wait to cut off the snake's head. We are the Dominion counterattack. I sent my squad to scout Cat's Eye Key. If they haven't learned what the Sea Vipers plan, we can poke around until we figure out what needs chopping. Don't worry, your wizard friend can seal the gate behind us. I'll hold the gate if you think you'll have need for a wizard. Or you could bring a Dominion Marine. Up to you. Then let's fillet these fish elf bastards. It's just a whole bunch of fighting. I thought I'd never escape. Based on the of enemy max, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's what I want. skills later. I need the things that are holding. Um, is it inventory? 
Yes, okay. I think this is part of the train they so. Hey, squad got separated. Nistel and I found Onglorn. They hurt him bad. Sea vipers carved runes in his chest. I grabbed him. Nistel held them off. Hunting sea vipers. If you see her, tell her Onglorn will be all right. Whoever wrote these notes has an idea. I'd start there. I don't do my weapons to grade or something. What, what was that you were about to do? Staff of the train. I'll sell it. Talk it,
but everything only weighs one damn pound. Mistel. Do not meet the requirements. What the hell are the requirements to open a door? <coughs> Alright, girl. Head is bad, but when it remains somewhat head shaped, <laughs> that is good, yes. <laughs> I was in the caves working you on when I heard a strange howling. Then warriors came out of nowhere and struck without mercy. Mm -hmm. Sea vipers, Maorama pirates. We paid protection through the month and let them put those strange totems in our cave. They've never been in the skooma trade. Uh, I, I meant moon sugar. It hit my head, you see. Our deaths, I suppose? After they killed enough of us, they left the rest of us alone. They knew we wouldn't fight back. They only paid attention to those totems. Well, until they on, huh? the cave entrance. I didn't put DVD down, so I'm seeing if this could be my next big game. I just finished the quarry. It'll be posting up on the um, YouTube channel, I think starting today. Some high elf wizard tried to get in, so they collapsed it. I dove outside. Lucky me. The wizard tried to tell me something, but I couldn't hear him at all. He stuffed this paper in my hands. Uh, what's that? My ears were ringing. Would you mind repeating the obvious? Wait, wait, don't think me ungrateful. The wizard was looking for another way into the caves. I heard rumors of a secret door by the cliffs, but secret I never... Secret door by the cliffs. What in the heck? Mm -hmm. What's that? Don't you run from me. Stop it. Stop it. Later. Where's the secret door? Mm -hmm. Oh, now I can open it. Okay, now I meet the requirement. Cool. These totems seem to harness a combination of wind and spirit. I wonder if I can... Excuse me. Do you mind? <laughs> Indeed. I suppose that's optimal. These sea viper rituals are barbaric, but quite effective. The hurricane they summoned to dash our fleet against Kanathi's roost? That's nothing compared to their current efforts. You clearly haven't studied the fundamentals of blood sacrifice. 
You see, these serpent-shaped statues, they're storm totems. They collect spirit energies from rune-marked subjects and channel it, like water through a funnel. Exactly the right question. It seems the sea vipers use a specialized lodestone to block the channel. Approach an active storm totem, hold forth the lodestone, and harmlessly siphon the energy away. You should see for yourself. Completely. Go ahead, don't be shy. Uh, it's not as though the storm totem's energies will cascade throughout your body until you're nothing but a lifeless smoking husk. <laughs> but do avoid standing in the puddles, would you? Phenomenal. I knew proximity was the key. And look at you. Not even a hint of electrocution. You have the principle. Now to apply it to the other storm totems before... Well, best not to worry about that. Uh, no, I really shouldn't worry you. I can't say for certain. It's one of two things, neither of which is good for anyone on this island. You don't stoop to blood sacrifice unless you need a lot of energy very quickly. And, well, to release it, just as quickly. Listen, you handle the storm totems. I'll determine how to best counteract the sea viper blood ritual without destroying Mistral. Does that seem equitable? The only certainty is the lack of time. You should hurry. I hate when people don't tell me what the hell's going on. Useless, useless. Except for two people. Oh god, I hate y'all. Guys, we'll do it together. Or not. Golly. Oh, so y'all long range. Okay, cool.
Y'all got a lot of lightning stars. I'm just can't wait to sell all of those. This is Eelsil, speaking directly to your mind. Find my Sigic projection near the tunnel exit. I know how to stop the Marma. Did you just spawn in front of me? That was the dumbest place you could possibly spawn. I'm sort of shocked. We shall see about that. I know what they're planning. Through my Sigi projection, I observed an old ritual site north of Mistra. The Sea Vipers summoned a powerful creature known as a Storm Atronach. They're funneling all that energy into their bound Storm Slave. The creature can only hold so much energy before it discorporates. All the energy will wash over Kanafi's roost, killing anything it touches. Except for the Thunderbugs, of course. Oh, and the mountain north of Mistral will shatter, leaving no trace of the town. <laughs> There's the genius of their plan. How do you bind a creature made of storm energies? With the wind itself. Three ritual horns trap storm slave. But the lodestone now has enough storm energy to counteract the false winds. Elegant, yes? I don't know what that means. It will shed its corporeal form and safely release its stored energy. Okay. Uh, by safely, I mean in relation to Kanafi's roost. I recommend moving a fair distance away from Storm Slave when this happens. Perhaps keeping solid rock between it and yourself? You'll have no trouble. But in the event you do, I've opened a portal at a distance of one league from Kanathi's Roost. There I'll tread water in the open sea until I've observed your success. Merely a precaution. I have every confidence. I'm sure you do. Oh shit, he's right there. I wish the stealth could have seen that thing. Your bonds cannot hold the tempest. Quickly work. Escape the ritual. Come! You must leave this place! Follow me!
My friend, to escape death so triumphantly is constant thrill, yes? Not so thrilling for the Maumar, of course. Maybe we should the Maumar are fled or dead thanks to your efforts. Canarthi's roost is safe and voluntarily a part of the Ald Mary Dominion. So if you must know, Razumdar keeps an eye on promising people. If Raz had known you would do so well, he would have scrounged you a nicer reward. Apologies. Mm -hmm. The Mistral Armory is not what it once was. Mm -hmm. The Maumur are like drunken uncle. Chase them off, and they always come back. <laughs> Next time, Kenarthi will be waiting for them. Problem is, there are places that will not be so prepared. If the Vipers are here in numbers strong enough to assault Kenarthi, all of the southern seas are in danger. Mm -hmm. The queen is in Oridon right now, beginning a royal visit. Raz would ask you to head to Volkelgard and report to watch Captain Astania. Astania can pass word to her majesty. Perhaps you can catch a ride on the prowler. Raz, her genial plans to set sail. He suspects she may owe you a favor. Mm -hmm. Of course. After all you have done for us here, it would be rude of Raz to say no. Astanya's the lovely watch captain of the Vulcal Guard Watch. Raz has shared more than one drink with the captain, and more than one fight. She's getting a bit grouchy now that she's tied to one port, but she should set you a right. <coughs> this one is a simple Khajiit, like he said when we first met. He resolves issues as they come up. He acts in the best interest of the Dominion and the Queen. <sighs> oh, Raz would not be surprised. You have already proven yourself a competent sword. Simple Khajiit like this one have a tendency to need competent people like you. Very tall elves and very pretty shores. Oridon is the most worldly part of the Somerset Isles, and still many of the High Elves consider it a sanctuary away from the rest of the world. This one thinks they are kidding themselves. What do you think happened? Mm -hmm. And I said I have to leave now? Okay. Maybe we should invest in some lightning rods. For that, let me see my inventory. Helmet anyway, so I'll take that. Oh, well, I ain't wearing nothing heavy. Shoulders, nothing. Ain't it lovely? Guess I'm wearing something heavy. <laughs> around here before I leave. The Prowler is headed to Oridon, and we're happy to ferry you there. When you're ready, hop in the launch. We'll set you up with your own bunk. Chests full of gold. Owning a sound ship after a hurricane can be quite lucrative, even when the only cargo is Dominion luminaries seeking passage. 
Don't worry, I won't charge you. Without your help. Aye, the Prowler is fully restored and ready mm. for heavy seas. Quartermaster Oblan even managed a few improvements using some Maormer donations. So I get on that whenever I'm ready. So before I get on that, where is a damn merchant? Maybe we should invest in some lightning rods. It would be of course he could summon a damn merchant. But so just know there ain't no merchants here. This is a place called Mistral. I thought this whole area was called Mistral. Cat's eye key. Would you listen to these bumpkins? Who says key? Exactly. Call it Cat's eye quay, like the divines intended. <laughs> the Harvard pronunciation is hilarious. You've come seeking power. I can two-handed so nope selling it Don't let me sell what I have in my hand, right? So I'm, I'm not using that, right? Oh, oh that's why it's a two hand weapon. Okay, yeah. Okay. You've come. The ship has sunk. We must find someone to hire us until the next comes in. Hmm. I could just use that. Sweet. town like this won't be able to pay up front. We're leaving on the next boat we can get, right? You have a better idea? Spit it out! Hey, ideas aren't my strong suit. I'm just saying, look at this place. Do they look like they can afford us? You have a point. Mafia, what else? Let's ask around. I'm sure something will come up. Get 
Tim Wilder Hut. New weapons and armor for you. Ask Lajlas about his private fittings. It's a lot of damn places. Jesus, it's just a lot of places. But I've done almost everything here. This is where I'm at. So the stack, I mean, those are, I've done all the quests. Look at y'all who were not here to help fight. Now y'all go try to come and eat snakes. Y'all ain't worth it. I can see that light through the stone. All right, We're gone three hours, and the Malmer attacked the city? Typical. Always missing the real fight. <clears throat> ah, you are the one I seek. Damn, that was quick. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. A passenger cabin in the interim suitor down at the docks. Do not tarry. Traveler, a moment of your time. Honor and faith, Wayfarer. Blade Master Kasura awaits you at the Vocal Guard Manor in the city of Vocal Guard. She requests you join her there at once. I do not have all the details, but I believe it has something to do with a Dragon Guard tomb. A former student seeks a solution to the threat facing elsewhere among the remains of that ancient order and Kasura agreed to assist him. Dragons. The terrible beasts have returned to ravage the land of the Khajiit. But it won't be long before they endanger all of Tamriel. Blade Master Kasura sent me to find help. I found you. Blade Master Kasura awaits, Wayfarer. Divines walk with you.
trading here. Whoa there. Are you all right? The name's Lyris. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. Dead. Must have been the runt of the litter. Weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. Keep moving. There are more Daedra on the way. Keep moving. Let's get out of here, my friend. Prophet. Greetings, Vestid. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. You must rescue me. And I, in turn, must rescue you. Hold a moment. Come here. We need to talk. The Prophet. He's a prisoner here, too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. 
break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. That blind old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. These tunnels will eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinels. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I've no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sent- I'm sure you do. And I'll answer them as best I can. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I don't know. Once we rescue the Prophet, he can tell you about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. A man named Menemarco. His worm cult is doing some kind of ritual back in Tamriel. They sacrificed you and everyone in this prison to the Daedric Prince Molag Bal. After you died, whatever was left showed up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here in Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Daedra. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here... conventionally, if that makes any sense. But we're prisoners here, same as you. He's a strange one, no doubt about it. But he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most... We should keep moving. Play, friend. Barkay's beard, you are good in a fight. A god of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry! You skeeving hawkers! Try to be inconspicuous. We've just got free of this place. The last thing we need is to get recaptured. I'll keep watch. Quickly! While he's blinded, we must get to the Prophet's cell. <laughs> the Prophet's enclosure isn't far. Let's go.
You will never escape my realm. Permamora's whacking tongue. The door's warded. We'll never get in this way. Damn it. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We'll need to find another way in. Maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home. And he knows it like the back of his head. One fine day in the middle of the night, two dead... Hello, what's this? Out for a stroll, then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. There like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the Undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the Prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Cadwell seems to think this Undercroft is a delightful place. Probably means it's a death trap. Better be careful. The sooner you get that door open, the sooner we can get out of here. Self-punishment? Here in one piece, and the Prophet looks unharmed. Now the bad news. It's going to be up to you to keep him safe and get him back to Tamriel. I'm not going with you. There's a trick to opening the cell. The only way for a prisoner to leave is for another living soul to take their place. I need to swap places with the Prophet. Believe me, I wish there was, but 
I don't see anyone else here with a beating heart, do you? If Molag Bal isn't stopped, he'll destroy everyone and... Once it's done, get moving. The Prophet will know where to go, but he'll need your eyes and your protection. this feeling. It will be fitting, though, if Moloch Val has his way. Thank the Divines you are safe. There is that, at least. Lyra sacrificed everything that we might go free. Her sacrifice must not be in vain. I wish that were possible, but I promise you, once we escape Cold Harbor, we will find a way to rescue her together, Vestige. That is the name I have given you. You are but a trace of your former self, a soulless one, an empty vessel that longs to be filled. It is as the scrolls foretold, but not exactly as I... That is what I've come to be called. My true name is lost even to me. Years of torment have taken their toll. Quickly. The anchors are Daedric machines of the darkest magic. Their chains bind our world and pull it towards Cold Harbor. I can use one of these anchors to return us to Tabby. Up the stairs, quickly! We must get to the anchor mooring! Dark Anchor's portal is high above us. I will prepare a spell to lift us to it. But first, you must reattune yourself to Nan in order to regain your physical form. A shard of ethereal magicka that carries the essence of Nan. Some link them to Lorcan, the missing god of creation. If you collect and absorb its power, it should restore your corporeal form. I will... Shard of Aetherius, fall upon us now and anoint us with your blessing. There, quickly! Collect the Sky Shard! Great Akatosh, Dragon God of Time, I require your strength. Let the way be opened. Let these wandering souls return home. Let the will of Molag Val be denied. Let's go now!
vestige awakens once again. Come here, we must speak. As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. I cannot foresee that, not yet. But we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molog Ball looms across all Tamriel and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. You must find your own path, but perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore, search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. It's harmless, but the guard will.
Many new faces, many new clients, yeah?
I'll have a spot for you soon, my friend. I don't care to sail through corpses, but if I dock at Mistral, they'll inspect my cargo. Which? Where do you need to go? I can take you to Vulkelgard. Bah! All my business here has dried up. At least I won't have trouble with the inspectors in Oradon. Which? Rare. There you are. You're not panicked. Only you can see me. Come, we have to talk. There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen well. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You... I awoke upon a sandy shore, a stretch of beach, outside a bustling city of elves, Vokel Guard. The harborage is in a seaside cave outside the city. It is there that you will find me. There you are, Vest. Listen well. Looking for me? 